Hello, and welcome back to Monday Morning Live. I'm Becca Ramirez. And I'm Kevin Henderson, and today is Monday, April 13th, a regular schedule A-Day. Meetings and events for today. Fourth quarter begins today. Upward Bound After School Tutoring will be in room 330. SAT Prep Class at 3 o'clock in room 300. PSO John Barleycorn Fundraiser from 5 to close today. And now for the weekly announcements. Forecasting week is here. All current freshmen through juniors will receive forecasting materials for the 2015 and 16 school year on Wednesday, April 15th. Students will be asked to forecast for their classes online. The deadline for submitting course requests online is Sunday, April 26th. Students with questions about forecasting of their or uh, 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 uh. students with questions about forecasting or their academic plan should access their counselor. Right, this is getting hot. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that off. Go ahead. Okay. Do you want a second? Okay. Today is our PSO John Barleycorn fundraiser. Visit John Barleycorn at 5 p.m. to close, and 50% of the night's proceeds are donated to THS. The Pacific Northwest Association for College Admission Counseling Regional Spring College Fair is soon. University of Portland will be the host site for the event on Sunday, April 26, 2015, from 12 to 3 p.m. As the event is automated, students are asked to register prior to attending the event to eliminate filling out prospect cards at each college table every time. The registration form is accessed at www.gotocollegefairs.com. After completion, a barcode is created which students should print and bring with them to the fair. Colleges will simply scan their barcodes to obtain their information. This streamlines the fairs for the students, giving them more time to know about the colleges of their choice. For the list of over 100 participating institutions, click on this link, http colon forward slash forward slash www.pnacac.org forward slash college dash fairs or come to the Career Center to see this list. This is a great way to visit and narrow down out of state schools without the expense of, of visiting. If you are wanting to work on a tech crew for the spring play, there is a meeting tomorrow at 3 o'clock in the auditorium. It says on tomorrow. <laughs> There's a meeting on tomorrow. Seniors, the deadline for late orders for a cap and gown is Wednesday. Check the Class of 2015 page on our website or reception for a late order form. Attention juniors, now is a good time to start thinking of visiting colleges. The Oregon universities have scheduled preview days for you to tour the campus and learn more about programs and opportunities. You will need to register on the university's website. Upcoming Oregon University preview days are as follows. University of Oregon, the 17th and 24th, and Western Oregon University, April 23rd. Apply for scholarships today. Tiger Breakfast Rotary Club extended the due date to 4-16, and Alberta Rider Principal Scholarship is extended to 4-17. So take advantage of that. Providence Newburgh Medical Center is pleased to announce its 2015 Volunteer Summer Program. The volunteer program is designed specifically for students between the ages of 15 through 18 who have a genuine interest in serving and pursuing a career in healthcare. Interested students will need to complete a volunteer application which can be downloaded from ProvidenceOregon.com slash Newberg Volunteers and returned by May 15th. Applications can be picked up in the counseling office. Uh, it's, it's dot org, not dot com. No! It's okay. Did a good job. .org. Uh, look, it's the Pacific Northwest Association of College Mission Counseling Regional Spring College Fair again. Attention girls grades 9 to 12. Learn to code, create a sales pitch, and have fun with technology at the Microsoft DigiGirls Job Shadow slash Career Day event on Friday, April 17th from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the Microsoft Northwest Sales Office in downtown Portland. Learn more at www.microsoft.com forward slash youth spark hub or come to the Career Center for a flyer. Students and parents, we hope you're taking advantage of the new web-based resource that Tigard High is using called Naviance Family Connection. Access Family Connection by going to connection.naviance.com slash tigardhs. Enter your password, which is like your, your lunch number, and you capitalized first letter of your first name, and the first letter of your last name in lowercase. And start planning for your future now by using Family Connection. Okay. Diva Day is coming up. Ladies, are you going to prom? I'm not, but you're going to need a dress. But before you go looking, make sure to stop at Diva Day for a free dress. 
Join us on April 18th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. in the comments to look through our fantastic selection of all sizes, lengths, colors, and designs. We need donations. Ladies, would you consider donating your prom dress to Diva Day after prom? We know it's hard to let go, but it would be such a blessing to another girl in the years to come. Feel free to bring them to the reception desk during school hours. Thanks. Badman is this Friday. Come sign up at the Tiger Cage all week. Teams must be two to four people. It is $3 per player, or you can bring in three cans and play for free. There will be cool prizes like gift cards to Jamba Juice, BlackRock, Cadoba, and Jimmy John's. See you Friday. Ooh, and now for sports! For up-to-date schedules and cancellations each day, check our website. Which is www.edline.net forward slash pages forward slash tigered hs forward slash athletics forward slash today underscore s underscore games underscore and underscore cancellation or you can go to the career center like you should do for everything else uh, and now for the daily trivia in terms of radio what does fm stand for tweet your answers at tiger tigers hashtag your teacher's name wear out like my phone screen. <laughs> Pacific Northwest Association for College Mission Council Regional Spring College Fair is super. <laughs>